Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Trailmakers High Seas, and today I am determined to figure out what this vortex is all about, because it's just sitting here right in the center of the map. I've tried to submarine into it. I've tried to boat into it. I've tried to fly into it, and uh, I've only been met with death so far. But uh, I figured I just built a nice drone that is very easily controllable in the wind. And I figured let's let's gently lower ourselves into the vortex and uh, figure out once and for all, I hope, what this thing is actually all about. There must be something down there if we don't die. Uh, but on top of that, we might as well, like, let's loot the vortex in its entirety. Oh, is this some new sea life? Ooh, there's some new fish. There's a clownfish there. There's some other fish. Oh, wait a minute. What's, wait, what's this below us? Oh, I've never seen this before. Hold on. Detour. Detour. Submarine detour. What is this thing? I think we can actually go inside of this. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I need to neutralize my buoyancy here. There we go. Let's control ourselves. Get inside here. Look at that. We got a, uh, a vase. Inside, what? what is this? It looks like a rocket of some sort. All right, so I have now exposed the vase. I think that's all that's in here by the looks of it. I'm surprised there's not a treasure chest in here. There should be a treasure chest on like the lower level or something. But at least now we know that there's a vase in there and I have it marked on the map so I can come back here when, uh, whenever I feel like it. And sailboat, catamaran boat. Oh, no, careful, careful, careful. There we go. All right, here we go. I put my sails up because I need to fight the wind now. Man, look at that. Can I like, can I use this as like a water treadmill? <laughs> I totally can. I'm literally treadmilling with the water. Okay, can I switch to my drone without drowning? Let's see here. Uh, that was unsuccessful. I'm going to have to do the submarine jump. Don't worry. I'm equipped for this. Okay. So, we do have the wind pushing me a little bit. So, it looks like we got green, yellow, and I have a red one right next to me that was unmarked on the map. There's probably a blue one right over in that direction, too. So, let's go ahead and activate these. And I'm realizing now that this is not going to be easy to drop all these off. Because there is a tendency for the, uh, the teleport retrieval points to glitch out and cause me to dive down into the ground. Oh, here's the blue one. Yeah, it looks like there must be like one of each color on this. All right, hold on. I gotta slow down with the wind here. And we should get this one any second now. There we go. Oh, that went right like underneath us. They're both going underneath us. All right, now let's head over in this direction. I wonder if there's more than just one of each. Man, look at that vortex. All right, don't worry. We're gonna get there. There's another green one over here. Is the, oh, that is the green one. That's the same green one. Okay. Yeah, there's not... It looks like there might be just these four. Well, the good news is, so far, they're all statues which float in water, which means if I get messed up dropping them off, they should stay there and not teleport back here. All right. Got that one. That's three out of four. And now we follow the wind, follow the vortex in this direction. It should lead us to the fourth one. Red and yellow look kind of similar from a distance. All right, all right, hold on, hold on, slow down, slow down, slow down, drone. All right, and... Come on, pull it in. Pull it in. There we go. All right, look at that, we got one of each color on this thing. I think that's the first time I've had literally one of every single color. Uh, so let's go blue first. Look at this, we can actually get some pretty decent, well, we're going, no, we're going into the wind right now. I'm surprised at how fast we're going. We're slowing down as we get further into the wind, but it's pretty good. All right, let's see if we can do this without glitching out and dying. Uh, we're probably gonna glitch out and die, but I should be able to recover pretty easily, I hope. All right, please don't be too extreme. Here we go. Oh, yep, yep, see, this is what I was afraid of. This is what I was afraid of right here. I'm gonna let go of them. And then I'm gonna have to pick them back up. All right, and let's turn back into the drone. All right, now I have the challenge of picking these things up on the surface of the water. You know what I should have done? I should have made the drone be able to rest on water. 
without sinking. That'd be kind of difficult, though. It'd be really top-heavy. But let's pick these things up now. No! <laughs> no! I don't want the wood. All right, you know what? We're taking the wood with us. <laughs> All right, looks like I'm going green next. And since I'm going green, let's pick up this green one that's already marked on the map anyway. Oh, it's underneath the archway. Okay, this is going to take some, some flight skills here. I'm an expert. Well, no, I'm a professional. I'm not an expert necessarily. I'm just, just a professional. I, ju I just get paid to do this. Oh, what? One of my magnets broke. That's not an expected result from that. All right. I think we got everything now. All right. We got two green ones now. Now let's head over to the green teleport points. Man, look at our speed now. 107, 180 kilometers an hour. Man, with the wind on my side, with our powers combined, we can go faster. Yay. All right. Let's see if we can handle this. How violent is this one going to be? Oh, come on. Get the other one in there. There we go. Okay, I'm going to let go of them now. All right, we're safe. We're safe. We're going to turn into our sub and uh, get ready to pick these things back up again. All right, ready? Transform. Perfect. All right, let's try to pick these things up without getting the big log this time. Hey, look at that. That was easy. All right, looks like we're going to Sub-Zero base next. It's kind of funny. We're doing a very large vortex around the vortex in preparation to go into the vortex. All right, here we go. Please don't kill me. This one's going to be a little bit more sketchy. No. <laughs> it was so violent. All right, turn those off. Turn those off. All right, and this is the final one from the vortex. And it looks like there is a red book over here. I might as well get that on my way to the volcano. All right, let's see if we can do like a very quick flyby without even slowing down. <laughs> nope. All right, we'll do better this time. There we go. Easy, easy peasy. All right, man, this drone is really making quick work of this map as far as the amount of time it takes me to get in between points. It's really nice. And this time I don't have to worry about dropping anything else. There we go. I'm just going to let it take me. Take me. Take me all the way. <laughs> we survived. All right. 24 of 35 of the red ones discovered. All right. It is time. It is time now that we have cleared the vortex of all of the loot on the outskirts. It is now time to enter the vortex right down in the middle with a nice gentle and controlled descent and observe without getting killed by the torrential currents. Torrential the right, right word for that? I feel like torrential is more about rain than uh, water currents. I don't know. Rain is wet too. All right, here it is. Um, I'm gonna turn these off so we can see better. All right, what do you guys think? Do you think that, is there, do you think there's really any point in going down here? Some of you have said that you could see something down here. I'm not so sure. I'm not seeing anything right now. Is it like hidden under the surface? Whoa, what? I was not expecting that. All right, I'm gonna turn this on just in case there's something that I can't see and maybe I'll be able to pick it up. Okay, here we go. I am slowing down. I'm going down very, very gently this time. Like very gently. I'm going to see the moment where I hit something. It's getting dark. All right, I'm not hitting anything this time yet. Oh man, this is crazy. It's getting so dark. Why do I feel like I'm further? Okay. Okay, something's eating me there. What? What am I supposed to do? This is very, very confusing. There is definitely... Oh boy, I went underwater. There's definitely some type of weird force field around that. What is the deal with it, though? All right, I got an idea here. I am going to free cam. I'm going to let myself... Oh, if I die, is the free cam going to work, though? I don't know how this is going to work, but... You ready? Free cam. I'm in free cam mode now. 
All right, it gets super. I right, see. Like, look, what is that? What is this? What is this? I can't get it. Uh oh, I'm lost. I'm actually. Oh, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Back up, back up. There's something down here. What's that weird circle, too? This is not a artifact. Like, this doesn't glow any particular color. Like, the artifacts, the entire thing glows. This just has, like, an orb at the end of it. And there seems to be a tire or something down here. I don't know if that's part of my vehicle or something, maybe. But that seems to be a loose object, the round thing. But the, uh, whatever that glowing thing is, I can't even... I lose all light when I get close to it. Okay, all right, where am I? I gotta, I'm turning the camera off. I am, oh, I am on the mouth. Somehow not dead. Oh, I am under the, oh, oh, and I'm dead. All right, I'm going back into sub mode right now because this sub has an invincible seat, an indestructible seat. And I am gonna be very curious to see if I can get into the center with my indestructible seat. Oh, 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 no, 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 this is the way to do it. I know, I know what to do now, you ready? All right, so the secret is I hover over the center as close as I can, and then I turn into my sub, it'll get destroyed, but my seat will remain, and I will be down in the middle of it, hopefully not dead. Here we go, I'm about to convert into sub mode, and go. All right, but I'm alive. I'm alive? Where am I? Where am I? I'm so close. I am getting pushed around. It's so hard to see. Here, let me go into free cam for a second. I need to zoom out a little bit. Where? Oh, look how close I am. I almost touched it. I'm almost touching it. All right, hold on. I can move myself a little bit. I have the uh, the seat controls. I can like tilt. Do you see me there? All right, let me zoom out a little bit. All right. Oh, 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 hold on. There's like the perfect spot where I can see my seat pretty clearly. It is right next to whatever that thing is, but the current is stabilizing me to the center point here. I can hardly move. Like, look at look at all the the water effects coming off of my seat too. This is so weird. But I can't move anymore. I'm pressing WASD. Oh, hey, there we go. We got a little bit. I just want to roll. I want to make contact with that thing. What if I repair? <gasps> My debris makes contact, but my seat doesn't appear to be making contact. I don't know if anything would happen if I did. I just wanted to see it. Can I go into build mode here? No way. I'm in build mode in the mouth of the vortex. Okay, so the reason why I wanted to do this, <laughs> this is kind of stupid. But I'm going to do, uh, oh, I can't really, no, I can't. I can do this. I want to create a very, very large, uh, indestructible object. If I do this, I'll be able to touch it, touch the thing at some point. All right. Is that large enough? I got to go back into free cam so I can see what's going on. All right. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Look at all the seats. Oh, this did not work out well. Well, one of, I don't know what seat I'm in, but one of the seats has touched it. <laughs> I have no idea which seat I'm in, but they're all, they're on the artifact. Look at that. All right, I'm going to go into, what does first person look like? All right, I'm in first person now. This is what it looks like at the bottom of the vortex in first person. I see blackness and the occasional yellow orb, and I have no idea what's going on. Oh man, I really thought for some reason, I thought that if I was just hovering down below it, I wouldn't die. I wouldn't encounter anything until I got into the water, but that doesn't appear to be the case down here. I seem to be like on it though. Like look, we are, yeah, I definitely touched it. I like, what are the chances my seat never touched it out of all these seats getting swirled around here. Okay, so the the mystery deepens. And you know what I'm starting to wonder? I'm starting to think that maybe something might happen with the vortex once we've actually gotten all of the artifacts. Perhaps these are some type of cursed artifacts that only when returned to their rightful place, then we can 
I don't know, save the world from the vortex or something. So that might be what needs to happen. We might actually need to get all of the artifacts. Which area should I do first? I want, I'm going to focus on like one of the colors and I'm just going to get every artifact of that color. So do you want volcano? Do you want sub-zero base? Do you want green haven? Or do you want tiki wharf? Here, let me show you how many I have of each one. That, that way we can uh, hopefully inform your decision there. All right, I've got 12, only 12 of 35. There's not a lot of blue on the map. 12 of 35 for Tiki Wharf. I've got 25 of 35 for Green Haven. I have got 15 of 35 for Sub-Zero Base. And I have got 24 of 35 for the volcano Mount Magma. So put your vote down in the comments below. And uh, the next episode, we are going to... I'm, I'm determined in the next episode to 100% one of these areas and see what happens when one of the areas gets 100% complete. And then we're going to try all of the areas and see if anything happens with the vortex because like it, there has to be something going on with the vortex here a uh, quick reminder though if you've been interested in supporting the channel by getting some merch uh there is a promo code wedge you can get 15 percent off everything on the merch store but that promo code is only good until the new year and on top of that if you wanted to get a wedge gang christmas themed sweater that is going to be gone forever at the new year so you have until the end of december to take advantage of any of that Thanks to all of you who have gotten merch so far. It's been a great support for the channel. I've been loving seeing the messages that you guys are leaving me as you get merch as well. So thank you all for that. Also for Caterinth fans, keep an eye out on the Caterinth channel on New Year's Day because there's a new song dropping. If you haven't seen the teaser already, go ahead and check that out too. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.